Right everyone, it is Finn here and welcome to my round 2 AFCON 2021 predictions. That's right ladies and gentlemen, round 1 is officially over. I don't know why I say ladies and gentlemen as if this is a formal show. But right guys, round 1 of AFCON 2021 is pretty much over. We now know more or less how teams are going to play throughout the African Cup of Nations. Although saying that, as we know at this point, football is a very unpredictable thing and absolutely anything can happen in the beautiful game of football. Now I will like to admit that of course at the time of recording there are still three games left of round one of the competition because obviously round two starts the day after round one the competition doesn't stop it just plays game after game after game so the only way I can get my round two predictions out in time is to do it right now so those three games are still left to play but other than that round one is pretty much done and looking at round two we've got some fantastic games to look out for now you guys seem to be enjoying these AFCON videos so of course if you do continue enjoying them make sure to hit the like button down below so that I know you're enjoying them. But looking at round two of the competition, we've got great games to look out for. We've got Cameroon versus Ethiopia. I think that could be a very entertaining game. Cape Verde versus Cape uh, Burkina Faso. We've got Senegal versus Guinea. Obviously, Sadio Mane and Naby Keita from Liverpool will go head to head in that game. Could be a really interesting watch. Malawi versus Zimbabwe. We've got Morocco versus Cameroon Islands. We've got Gabon versus Ghana. Once again, could be an interesting game to watch. We've got Nigeria versus Sudan. We've got Guinea-Bissau versus Egypt. Now, of course, Egypt not getting the starts that they would have wanted in this competition after losing to Nigeria. They'll need to pick up and they'll want to pick up points quite desperately. Uh, we've obviously got Gambia versus Mali next. We've got Tunisia versus Maritania. Ivory Coast versus Sierra Leone, which after that performance, Sierra Leone had defensively in the previous game to get a draw versus Algeria. I wouldn't be surprised if they got a result versus Ivory Coast. And of course, we've got Algeria versus Equatorial Guinea. Ladies and gentlemen, round two of the African Cup of Nations. I think it's going to be another banger. As I said, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button down below and also hit that subscribe button. I know very formal, very typical YouTuber thing to say, but of course it does help the channel out quite a lot. You guys have been amazing so far. Let's see if we can keep it up. But you know what? Jumping straight into my round two predictions. Game number one is going to be Cameroon versus Ethiopia. Now, of course, my only exact prediction from what round one was that I predicted Cameroon to beat Burkina Faso 2-1. Uh, that is what ended up happening. Now, I will admit, I don't think Cameroon absolutely played out of their boots. I think that they had quite a sloppy game. I feel like defensively. I don't know, they seem to struggle a tiny bit. I feel like there was a bit of miscommunication. Of course, both of their goals were penalties, which at the end of the day, penalties are still goals. You don't count them any less, do you? But I think Cameroon would like to pick up on form. I don't think that they would be super happy with the way that they played in their opening game versus Burkina Faso. And of course, they did receive quite a lot of opportunities from Burkina Faso. So I think defensively, they do need to pick it up a level. But saying that, looking at Ethiopia, their game versus Cape Verde, it was just dreadful. Got a very early red card and I feel like that just stopped the entire motion of the entire team. It's like a car entering a race and it gets into a crash before it even gets to the start line. I mean, if your car is messed up, you're not going to be able to race. I'm no way! Unfortunately, that's what happened. I feel like I had an unfair judgment of Ethiopia heading into this game now because, of course, we didn't get to see their full ability. Cape Verde ended up dominating that game because they had more players and they ended up winning that game. So, you know what? Because I don't have a full judgment of Ethiopia, because I wasn't that impressed and because Cameroon ended up getting a win, I am going to give Cameroon a 1-0 win. As I said, they would like to pick up on form, but I definitely saw some star performers out there. I think, obviously, it can be from Leon. I think that he could be a real difference maker. I think Onana, once again, he looked a bit rushed from time to time in the goalkeeper position, running out at weird times, in my opinion. Uh, but at the end of the day, very, very good team. And I think Cameroon will get the win. And I do feel like the man to watch will be Vincent Abubakar. Obviously scored both the penalties in the previous game. The captain of the team. Uh, once again, although only penalties, I think that he is a man on form. I think he'll have a world of confidence after that game. And I think Cameroon will end up getting their second win. Next up, we've got Cape Verde versus Burkina Faso. Now, of course, although I, as I just said, Cape Verde, I think had a brilliant game 
in my opinion. Obviously, once again, they were versus a team that had a red card. I think their goal was absolutely out of this world. Could be one of the goals of the competition. Came in from a tight angle. But looking at Burkina Faso, I do think I am going to give them... Oh, gosh, not a 9-0. I am going to give them a 1-0 win. Looking at Burkina Faso, although they ended up losing the game, I was quite impressed from time to time. In terms of their attacking opportunities, I thought that they had some brilliant chances. Obviously, the thing that will let them down is their discipline to concede two penalties. Obviously, that is what lost them the game, and they'll be expected to do better versus Cape Verde. My player to watch is going to be the likes of Bertrand Traore, obviously from Aston Villa, because that man played out of his socks versus Cameroon. Genuinely, what a brilliant player. He is genuinely the kind of player you could build the team around. Heading on to our next game, we've got the likes of Senegal versus Guinea. Now, as I said, this is going to be Sadio Mane versus Naby Keita. I'm looking quite forward to watching this game. Now, of course, both teams have already won their opening game. Looking at Senegal, they ended up getting a win in their previous game versus Zimbabwe in the 97th minute due to a due to a penalty but saying that looking at them throughout the game Senegal's attacking chances were really really good they did look a bit mismanaged at defense from time to time but we cannot forget that they are missing some key players in defense and the goalkeeper position whether the likes of Koulibaly and Mendy will be back for the second game uh, it's still unknown at the time of recording but considering they are missing some key players Senegal still had a brilliant performance and looking at the likes of Guinea uh, it's a really tricky one obviously they got a win versus Malawi a 1-0 win um but and I, I don't know it's a tricky one going into this prediction because obviously Senegal it wasn't their best performance versus Zimbabwe but I am going to give them a 1-0 win looking at Guinea because at the end of the day Guinea also defensively can be a very very tricky team because looking at them in that game they only allowed Malawi to take shots from wide areas from far out they didn't allow too many shots in the box so I do feel like they could shut down Senegal but as I said Senegal are the better team I do think they'll end up getting the win moving on oh and obviously player to watch will be Sadio Mane it was brilliant he absolutely ran the show for Senegal in the previous game has been brilliant for Liverpool there's just no reason why it wouldn't be him looking at the next game we've got Malawi versus Zimbabwe now as I said looking at Malawi they only had opportunities from outside the box it seemed they really did struggle in terms of their attack versus um versus Guinea in their previous game looking at the likes of Zimbabwe once again they held Senegal to a normal draw all the way until the 97th minute and it's only really because of a penalty they ended up losing it I was very very impressed with the Malawi goalkeeper I think he was absolutely brilliant he is going to be my man to watch his name is the likes of Kakabawa Kak Kakabawa. I'm so sorry, my pronunciations. I swear they just seem to get worse and worse every single video, but I am trying my best out here. And obviously that does imply, I think Malawi will get a 1-0 win. As I said, I think the Malawi goalkeeper was absolutely brilliant throughout the game versus Guinea. Almost unlucky not to keep a clean sheet, but versus Zimbabwe, once game, I did see them struggle against Senegal, although a very top team, I just got a bit more faith in Malawi for this game. Next up, we've got Morocco versus Camros. Now, of course, Camros, you've just lost to a very, 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 very weakened Gabon team that is missing its star players. And looking at Morocco, they've just beaten the likes of Ghana and they were by far the best team in that match. So because of that, looking at those two things put together, I have to give Morocco a win. I'm tempted to put down a 2-0 win or a 1-0 win. I'm undecided, but I think I am going to go with a 2-0 win. As I said, I don't think Camaros Islands, I don't think they were bad versus Gabon per se, but at the end of the day, as I said, very weak in Gabon team, and they were still miles ahead of Camaros. I do feel like my player to watch for Morocco versus Camaros is going to be the likes of Buffal. Obviously, playing at the likes of Anger in League 1 in the French League has got 5 goals and 3 assists in 15 games so far in in the French League and of course scored the winning goal versus Ghana. He just seems to be the man to watch at the moment. Very, very impressive player. Next up, we've got Gabon versus Ghana. Now, of course, the Black Stars will want to pick up a level. They were not, 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 not good versus Morocco at all. Like genuinely, it was a horrific display. One of the worst displays I've seen from them in a very bad, uh, long time, which is sad to say because they've got a star-studded team. They've got a brilliant team in terms of individuals. I had really high hopes from them, but at the end of the day, I mean, Morocco absolutely controlled the show and there was no point in time where I thought that Ghana were the better team, unfortunately. But looking at Gabon, once again, a very weakened team and although still dominated the likes of Camrose, looking at Ghana, 
I feel like this is the game where they have to step it up. And I do think that they will step it up. I think they're going to look at their previous performance. They're going to look at the players in the squad and say that we've got the better team. We need to win games. And I think that's what's going to happen in a game like this. In terms of a result, am I going to put forward a 1-0, another 2-0? I think Ghana could get quite a comfortable 2-0 win. And in terms of a player to watch, I'm going to go for the likes of Andre Ayu. Once again, a phenomenal striker at the end of the day. Playing in the Quatorian League has gotten something really, really stupid like 9 goals in 10 league games. Obviously, I just think in terms of attacking firepower, he is the best man going forward for Ghana. Although you could have a controlling midfielder as your player to watch, such as a Thomas Partey. But as I said, at the end of the day, I think firepower will be the difference maker in a game like this. Heading on to the next game we've got Nigeria versus Sudan now of course Sudan picking up a draw uh, versus Guinea Bissau in their previous game once again I wasn't too convinced with them I do feel like their goalkeeper from time to time was really really good for Sudan um, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't think I can give them the win. I have to give this one to Nigeria. I mean, I might give this my biggest win yet. I'm going for a 3-0 win, to be honest with you. Obviously, Nigeria winning, the Super Eagles winning versus Egypt. And quite comfortably, once again, I think Nigeria absolutely dominated Egypt, in my opinion. I mean, we've been talking about the fact that they're missing so many star players. Obviously, Emmanuel Dennis, they're missing the likes of um, Odia Nogalo up front they are missing some brilliant players but Ian Nacho had an absolutely fantastic game and I feel like the attacking power midfield power and defensive wall block of this Nigerian national team there's just no way in my opinion that they're going to lose to Sudan so because of that I'm going to put forward a 3-0 win and of course my player to watch I've just mentioned his name it is going to be the likes of Ian Nacho scored the winner versus Egypt and I think he'll play such a crucial role in winning versus a team like Sudan as I said I do feel like the goalkeeper from time to time was good versus Guinea Bissau he obviously saved a penalty, but he's also the reason why the penalty had to be taken. So, you know, it's obviously he justified the mistake that he ended up making. But versus Nigeria, you can't make mistakes like that. Heading on to the next game, we've got Guinea-Bissau versus Egypt. And of course, heading into this game, as I said, Guinea-Bissau drawing versus Sudan. They had a penalty to win the game and they didn't take their chances. I feel like throughout that entire game, Guinea-Bissau just didn't take their chances at all versus Sudan. Where if you look at Egypt, I can say the same thing about them versus Nigeria. But once again, just like Ghana, like I mentioned earlier, they are the better team versus their opponents for week two. And they'll be looking at their team saying we didn't perform up to standard. So because of that, once again, knowing the quality that Egypt have, I am going to give them a 1-0 win. I don't think it's going to be a convincing game. I think they're just going to scrape a win. Because looking at them, I would hate to say that Egypt is so one-sided and depend on Mo Salah. But at the end of the day, they kind of did. The only good opportunity they had in that game was when Mo Salah made a breakthrough run and unfortunately didn't end up taking a shot. I mean, I hate to say it, Egypt, you've got a good team, but you relied too much on Salah in that match. I think you will pick it up. I do think Salah will be the man to watch in this game and I do think Egypt will just scrape a win. Looking at the next game, Gambia versus Mali. Now, of course, neither of these two teams have played yet at the time of recording, so I don't know the results. Obviously, looking at the two teams heading into the competition I do see Mali as the stronger team I think they've got the better individuals they've got a better run of form so because of that I am going to give Mali a win I'm not going to predict a player to watch because obviously we haven't seen these two teams play quite yet so I'm not going to spend too much time on this game obviously I think similar situation with Tunisia versus Maritowania I am going to give Tunisia a 2-0 win in terms of FIFA rankings or in terms of how highly these teams are rated obviously Tunisia is very very highly rated. There are few people that think they could win the competition. They've got a star-studded team. They've got brilliant individuals. Maybe not at the top of their game in every single position, but as a team, they play relatively well, and I don't think they'll end up dropping points. As I said, it's tricky to say without seeing um, how they're going to do in round one. Once again, not going to predict a player to watch. Obviously, Ivory Coast versus Sierra Leone. Now, of course, Sierra Leone have played their first game, and they held Algeria to a null-null draw, and obviously the goalkeeper was the man of the match, which rightly so. That goalkeeper was playing not just out of his boots, but out of his gloves. What a brilliant goalkeeper, because 
I will be honest, Algeria absolutely dominated that game on pretty much every single level. I mean, just looking at it statistic-wise, um, looking at Algeria, I think they had something stupid like 17 shots, 67% possession. So they really controlled the game. So for Sierra Leone to not just keep a clean sheet, but to yeah, get the points versus Algeria, that is massive. Looking at Ivory Coast, could they do the same? I'm not too convinced, to be honest. Once again, we haven't seen Ivory Coast play yet. But once again, they've just got such a marvelous team. And I've got really high expectations for them, this competition. I currently think Ivory Coast, player by player, have a better team than Algeria. Therefore, I do think that they are going to get a 1-0 win versus Sierra Leone, at least. Actually, you know what? Am I going to go for a 2-0 win? No. You know what? I've got faith in the Sierra Leone keeper once again. And I'm going to put forward a 1-0 win. Once again, player to watch. Very hard to say at this stage. I would probably go for someone like Sebastian Halle. Has been playing out of his boots this season. But once again, it's tricky to say. And obviously, that takes us to our final game of round two of AFCON 2021. Algeria versus Equatorial Guinea. Now, of course, Equatorial Guinea. We haven't seen them play so far this competition. They will be playing Ivory Coast once again very very tricky group for them but looking at Algeria although they did end up getting that draw versus Sierra Leone as I said they dominated that game in terms of shots in terms of possession I thought that they actually played really really well and it's just the defense of Sierra Leone that needs to be given credit therefore I don't think the same will happen versus Equatorial Guinea and I am going to give Algeria a 2-0 win and in terms of a player to watch although it sounds very typical it has to be Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez was brilliant and was the pinnacle point of all attacking play that happened in that game. Genuinely I thought Riyad Mahrez was brilliant in that game and I think Algeria are almost unlucky not to get away or come away with a win after that game. But that ladies and gentlemen is my round two predictions for AFCON 2021. As I said three games still need to be played in round one so it's very hard to make these predictions but you know what I of course have fun anyway as i said you guys seem to be enjoying this afcon content if so hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe we are so close to 3,000 subscribers which is mental to think about thank you so much for all your guys' support and yo round two as i said guys if i predicted your team to lose or anything like that don't take it personally someone has to win someone has to lose unless it's a draw but draws are never fun to predict that's why i don't end up doing it and that's why not all my predictions were that great for round one because there were a lot of draws um as i said draws are just they're boring to predict i like to be a bit more bold in that sense but guys i hope you have enjoyed this video this has been fin fy double n cheers